Hey everybody, I'm Dennis Stack. And I'm Nate Fisher. And we are Cinema Buffs bringing you our debut review of Batman vs Superman. That's right, so there's a lot of hype and uh, anticipation around this movie, obviously. Everyone's talking about it, yeah, wondering man. is it going to be good, is it going to be bad, whatever. So I say we waste no time and just get right into it. I know we uh, both feel a little differently on this yes, one. Yes, we do have different opinions about this one. So this new depiction of Batman, new actor, you know, new director, there's kind of taking this in a really new direction, more brutal version of Batman we've never so. seen before, <clears throat> which I really enjoyed. So Nate, what did you think about uh, Ben Affleck's performance? I think Ben Affleck was great as Bruce Wayne. He's definitely an older Bruce Wayne. You know, he's a yeah. little bit gray. He's been doing this for about 20 years now. So he's been Batman for a long time. Uh, I do like the depiction also that he actually is a playboy. He doesn't pretend to be a playboy. He no. does drink. He does sleep with a lot of women. He does drive fast cars. This isn't right. just a facade, it's actually uh, his lifestyle. It's Bruce um, Wayne. It's Bruce Wayne, exactly. Right. And I liked his depiction of it, I did. The brutality for me, uh, not so much spoilers, but like he doesn't seem to have any problem with killing people in this. No, I mean, he doesn't kill an excessive amount of people, and he doesn't kill everyone he apprehends. No. But when he does kill, it seems like he kind of gets washed away. There's no like regret or any like, you know. Right. But then again, this is an older Batman. Maybe he has been doing That's this true. for so long, a he's gotten a little more lenient with the whole thing. Right. Also, there, another thing, I really enjoyed uh, Ben Affleck's performance. Also, a big standout for me was Jeremy Irons as Alfred. You thought it was a standout? Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I really liked it. I mean, it's hard to follow up Michael Caine. It is. So, you know, I think that's, uh, I think, you know, when it comes to Nolan's trilogy, Ledger's Joker gets praised a lot, but you know, Kane's Alfred's really up there. That's gonna be a tough one to follow yeah, too. Yeah, that's my favorite Alfred, and I think that um, Jeremy Irons did a fine job as Alfred, but we're gonna talk a lot about how this is a lot crammed into a movie. Like, in my opinion, too much crammed into a movie, and I feel like Alfred's one of those elements. Nothing against the performance, I just thought that there was no weight behind it. I think. Yeah, so. well, um, speaking of, you know, too much crammed into it, I would say that's my one big problem with this movie. Overall, I enjoyed it for sure. But just the there's too much setup for Justice League. I feel like they had this great idea for Batman versus Superman, the two finally going off head to head. Yeah. And then once they decided to build the Justice League and make this cinematic universe with it, they just crammed it all in there. Kind of bloated the movie for me. I don't think two and a half hours is what needed no. to be. I think they wasted a lot of time also telling the origin story of Batman because it was just so similar to the origin story. Uh, they didn't switch it up at all. Um, like if you know Nolan's story, it's it's the same right, thing. So right. they spent a lot of time showing this to people, and Batman's folklore now. We all right. know Batman. We yeah, all everybody know knows how he came story. to be and all that. So I thought there was a lot of time wasted there as well. Um, you you enjoyed this movie more than I did. Um, yes. Bloated is a great word. Uh, yeah, I would say that's my big problem with it. Uh, they tried to cram too much in, but what I saw, I did like. I don't know. It, this movie, I there was a point where I was watching it and I was wondering, am I not enjoying this movie or am I just a little bit superheroed out? Have I just had too much of superheroes? Like you know, the, like said, there's a lot of new characters introduced sure. uh, outside of Affleck's Batman. Mm -hmm. The uh, two big ones were um, Gal Gadot as uh, Wonder Woman. What'd you yeah. think? Uh, I liked her. I liked the chemistry between um, Wonder Woman and Batman, actually. I liked their right. chemistry more than Superman and uh, Lois Lane, really. Yeah, I sure. was, uh, yeah. I, I didn't really, unfortunately they didn't get a lot of screen time, Batman and Wonder Woman, like, with their banter, but it was fun to see them interact with each other. Um, right. With Superman and Lois Lane, they tried to go so heavy with it, so emotional with it, it didn't seem like they ever had any fun in their relationship. Did you like Wonder Woman? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, I felt that, um, the thing, part of the thing about her beginning appearance in the movie had a lot to do with that cramming in the Justice League stuff yeah, at the end. Yeah, for sure. So I feel it would have been better served if she would have showed up at the end when she shows up in a full costume and fighting. Yeah. I feel they could have held off to that to show her. Totally. But, uh, and also the uh, other big cast addition to this universe is uh, Lex Luthor. Right. Jesse Eisenberg's performance. What did you think of that? I thought it was fine. Like, I really thought he did a great job with it. Like I said, a lot was going on in this film. He had a lot to deal with as an actor and to portray this character. Uh, he's definitely younger. Uh, he's actually the son of Lex Luthor. Yeah, Luther. Lex Luthor. Right, so right. He's like Lex, Lex Luthor Jr. Jr. Yeah, Jr., exactly. Um, but I think Jesse Eisenberg can play crazy pretty well. He, he had that glint of craziness in his eye, definitely. Um, there was some dialogue in parts where I was like, eh, this is feeling a little forced, but all in all, he did the best he could with what he was given, for sure. Right. Uh, I think uh, what I can say about Jesse Eisenberg's performance is it's what I expected, and 
a lot of this movie is what I expected. Like, and I don't think Zack Snyder is anything special as far as a filmmaker. I think he's great with visuals, but he's never really had a movie where he tells a story throughout. And even my favorite movie of his, Watchmen, and that's really clunky too. Yeah. And there aren't any very memorable dialogue moments, and I think this suffers from some of the same problems that Watchmen did. For sure. Dialogue go wasn't to, very good. You can go back to Dawn of the Dead. Like, I love Dawn of the Dead, and visually it was just a beautiful film, for, especially for a horror film, but like you said, Dialogue's just bad. Let's wrap this up. Big points here. Uh, Batman. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up on Batman. Yeah, totally thumbs up. And I can't... Like, if this movie does not do well, it's not his fault. No. At no. all. I can't um, wait for his solo right. when he's directing himself sure. in a Batman movie. Yeah. Not so much Justice League if right. Snyder's still going to be behind the camera. I mean, having said that, Justice League... Yeah, I'm not as excited about it. Like, I'm more excited for the Batman solo than yeah, Justice Ditto. League and movies. Then, uh, but the like fight, the fight, the fight you, between Batman and Superman. What you think? Pretty weak. Lackluster. It just really, uh, if you saw the trailer, you kind of saw the fight. Yeah. Well, let's let's put a number on it. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, like I said, I enjoyed it uh, visually. I got what I was expecting. For, what I was expecting as far as story, the same thing too. But I wasn't expecting much out of story, and because of all those faults, I can't go too high. I'm going to top out at 7 out of 10. Okay. Well, you're being a lot more generous than I am. I am uh, <laughs> I'm going 5 out of 10. It really just... Didn't even pass, huh? It didn't really pass. No, oh, not for right. me. So, But either way, uh, I think that you, I think people should check it out because I think it's going to be... It's going to fluctuate in reviews. I yeah. think some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. So I would say check it out just for the Batman stuff because that's top notch. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's our review for Batman vs. Superman. We really appreciate you watching our first episode of Cinema Buffs. And uh, Wait, Nate. What? Don't forget the contest. Oh, yeah, the contest. Tell us about the contest, Dennis. Yeah, that's right. You, the viewer at home, can win a $20 gift card to Celebration Cinema simply by sharing this video on social media. You do that, you enter your name into a drawing, we'll pick one out next week and send you the gift card. Absolutely. And also, don't forget to tell us what you thought about Batman vs. Superman in the comments below. And look for future episodes of Strongest Weakest and reviews coming up real soon. Yep, and don't forget, guys, there's no place like the theater.